Together for managed democracy. Together for victory. Together for liberty. Okay, people, today let's take a quick look at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Attack of the Clones C3PO and Super Battle Droid two pack. This one's on the Patreon. I got this and the Marvel Legends Giant Man and Wasp two pack nearly at the same time, so I put it to a vote. And it was very, very close, but I'm okay with looking at some Star Wars, some bread and butter. And yes, I was down on this set only because it could have been a brilliant army builder. If they had just included a battle droid head, I would have bought multiples of these. More people would have bought multiples of these. But I decided to get one because I saw it in stock on Hasbro Pulse and went, oh, okay, if it's right there, it's right in front of me, I might as well grab one. That gets a super battle droid into my hands and it gives me a C-3PO headed battle droid, which I do have from the model kits, but I keep that as a battle droid. This is specifically C-3PO with a battle droid body, so it'll go on the shelf somewhere. I ain't buying any more of these two packs. I'm waiting on the single pack of the super battle droid before I do any more army building. Looking at the package, it's Star Wars Black Series. There's a whole lot of black going on. It's so elegant, so luxurious. Have the logo going on, the reddish orange accent color for Attack of the Clones, C-3PO B1 battle droid body and super battle droid. I, I read too fast. The figure's fully visible in the package, and as always, warning, choking hazard small parts. Don't Roger Roger into your mouth hole. On the side, some nice artwork of the two characters. On the back, bigger versions of both of those pictures. There's a little blurb to give you some background. Hey, did you forget? Warning. Oh, focus. Warning. Small parts. Includes two figures and two accessories. <laughs> I look at it as one figure and three accessories. On the other side, there's more box. On the top, more windows. So... Let's get this open, see what's going on here. Oh, I didn't notice the spiffy Geonosis background. Okay, we're not gonna spend too much time on C-3PO because it is essentially the battle droid body we already have. In fact, we have one in the Geonosis colors, but the deco is different. The first one's a bit clean. Well, okay, I say that. There's more silver scuffing. The C-3PO one is more oil bathy, more dirty. It's got more of these dark splotches all over the body. And it's the same all the way down, just dirtier in general. And the thing about it, it's a good sculpt. It's it's just one of those designs from Star Wars that wasn't really meant to work in the real world, so it can be awkward. My original stands okay, and fairly straight up and down. There's a slight lean this way. C-3PO leans even more, and from what I can tell, the left leg is shorter than the right. That's quite a difference there. It's just my droid luck lately, I guess. I can't even fake it. If there was some tilt, oh, what, no crotch out? Stop that. There is a little tilt there. Maybe I can, nope. Still leaning very, very, very heavily. I guess I can pose it like that, kind of. <laughs> well, okay, C-3PO on the battle droid was awkward in the first place. So I guess the figure conveys that nicely, but it's still kind of frustrating. Then we get to the head, and again, this is a very specific look for C-3PO. Wish there was a little more weathering here. There's a silver plastic with kind of a moldy green on top of it, which works, but this makes me want the whole figure from Attack of the Clones. You know, a full C-3PO in this color scheme. And then in episode one, naked C-3PO. You know you want one too. What surprised me is that this isn't reuse. Comparing it to the C-3PO that came in the Amazon 2-pack with Chewbacca, the Battle Droid C-3PO head is smaller and shaped slightly different. That one's about 790. This one's 750. 680? 640. So about 40,000 smaller all the way around. I guess I can see why they did it. You take this and kind of imagine it over here, and it may be bobble-headed. Heat! Move! Or this is the older C-3PO that I have in a bin somewhere. This is the one I rock on the shelf because it's the best C-3PO release from any company. Come to my house and fight me. It's the Super Battle Droid. That's the star of the show. This is the whole reason I ordered this pack in the first place. And look at this big bulky bastard here. He's just tough as all hell. Get that feeling of don't mess with this guy. I mean, he's got a launcher on his wrist and stuff like that, and he just, death machine, come, go, dark, dark. If you knew nothing about Star Wars, you would look at this and go, oh, that's the bruiser type. And again, this is one of those designs that it wasn't really meant to be made in 3D form out in the really real world, but Hasbro did a really good job here. There's a thinness to the limbs, accurately so, but it's also stable. It feels solid, and that is a welcome change from a lot of the recent droids I've gotten in the Black Series. This thing just, boom, you go, you stand it up, 
It wants to stand up. It wants to stay upright. And that just makes me happy. What makes me happier is the sculpt and all the colors. First up, the little things like this being a separate piece, this hose or cable or whatever on the front, and the sharp angles and the rounded edges and just things to look at. I mean, there's also a simplicity to it, this big long plate, but it's almost one of those designs that you see getting beat out at, on one of those DIY motorcycle shows. They're running some machine that nobody's used in a hundred years, and then suddenly you have a motorcycle tank, and it's magnificent looking. This reminds me of that. There's a roughness, there's a rawness, which comes from the design in the movie, but it's perfectly translated into plastic form here. As much as there's flat planes or well I guess rounded uh, less detailed parts you get to this and it's all segmented and it's almost hypnotic look at the light dancing off of it I've never noticed that there's some kind of spacely sprocket for his crotch piece or Cogswell cog maybe got some nice jagged soles to the bottom of the feet for rough terrain ninja turtle fingers and Wu-Tang would be proud he protects the hell out of his neck he don't even have a neck the body goes up around the head it does kind of seem like metallic muscles. Been a while since I've seen Attack of the Clones, so I can't remember if they folded up and dropped down out of ships or tanks or whatever. Because there's this slot on the back of the shin that comes up and you can put it around here. Is that for the toy or was that in the movie? People are saying that the blast mark and the grime pattern makes it a very specific super battle droid in that movie. But again, I haven't seen it in a long time. I'm trusting their judgments. Because there is some rust, some sand, some dirt, some grime just caked in places. In fact, it goes all the way around the abdomen and then down here around the shins and the feet. Oh, and there's even some on the back. A lot of times they skip that part. I like to see that extra mile thrown in there. Oh, and it's on the back of the forearms too, going down to the wrists. And a little bit up on the head, the chin, uh, the uh, peck face. But I mentioned colors and looking at it from afar back here you think oh it's gray with some black whoop de doo But you get in close and uh, yeah there's the ground we already went over but there's also this blue up here on top of the head. There's this red dot and there's this gunmetal in places. That just sets things off and makes things feel a little more premium. You can already see right here that the body reflects the light kind of metallic-ish but then you get to here and it adds some contrast. It breaks things up a bit. Dark hair on the hip and again back to the cog piece and the abs but then it gets a little darker at the bottom of the upper torso and it gets downright black here on the side. So there's different colors. There's different things going on just to spruce it up a bit. I like that. But there's also an action feature kind of and I appreciate everyone that showed pictures that the head and the chest plate can come off to reveal innards. I guess this is a callback to an older video game. To me, I can get multiples of these and have them laying on the battlefield just and again they didn't have to put the whites and the reds in here but they did even better they added sculpted detail to the inside of those removable parts so you can lay those around on a battlefield and you just have one messed up or several messed up super battle droids going over articulation on the battle droid really really quick because we've seen it before it still pops up like that but there's a hinge going back going forward and then there is some side to side well i don't know oh yeah there is side to side on the c-3po head in fact that's a separate neck piece so there is a little articulation to that and a little tilt arm rotates all the way around hinges up to about right there hinge at the elbow goes up to here and then there's a swivel directly below it hinge at the wrist here and then a swivel some kind of funky joint up in there it seems like you can go side to side a little and it hinges forward and back ball coming out to the leg goes all the way up and all the way back and there is a little in and out along with some twist on it barely hinge at the knee goes all the way <laughs> rotation above the ankle then a hinge goes back forward and front facing pin for rocker for the super battle droid there's nothing at the head there is a ball joint coming out to the shoulder where you can rotate it all the way around and then kick it out to there and there's also twist on it pretty much you know whatever you can do with a ball joint. So it doesn't swing out far, but you can bring it across in front of his body. The elbows are a little extra with a swivel above and a swivel below. So sometimes you'll look over 
and it'll be funky like this. You have to straighten it out and get it turned correctly. The hinge comes up to pretty much exactly 90. Twist at the wrist and then a hinge in and out. I think it's a dumbbell joint in the mid torso. Not a lot of crunch, but when you arc back, you can see it does not break up. That sculpt goes all the way up. So I may try to pop this apart at some point and dremel some plastic down because I'm never going to have him arced this far back so I don't mind it being exposed to the inside. I want it to crunch a little more. Some nice tilt though and then rotation stop. Well no you can make it go all the way around. You just hit a point where it's not shaped correctly. Same as the shoulders there's a ball joint coming out to the hip so you can rotate. Oh, oh no. But then out is only as far as the plastic goes and then you can rotate it there a bit but then there's also a thigh swivel. Look at that. Knee, like we talked about a minute ago, there is a slot on the back. If you get that lined up correctly, you can come up to there. That also rotates above, but not below. Hinge at the ankle goes back, goes forward, and front facing pin for rocker. After doing all that, it seemed like, well, especially here, this is tight. This is slightly loose, but there's still no problem getting it to stand up. And that's my thing about Black Series droids. I want them to stand up. Hell, he's leaning forward a bit. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> but you can see I'm just going at it. I'm getting rowdy with it. You get it straight up and down, he stays in place. You put the arm out, and then the thing, and here, and there, and there, and out. And look, he's standing. And I, that wasn't pre-planned. You saw me do it. So yes, Hasbro, good job. More droids like this that are solid, again. It, sometimes it's hard to bring Star Wars concepts out into things we can hold in our hands and be stable and steady and solid. Let's do it again. He's standing straight up. Pow, 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 out. Let's go, let's go here and see what happens. Done. Look at that. Sheer joy. That makes me happy. For accessories, we get the same blaster and backpack that we've gotten with the other Star Wars Black Series battle droids. There's two peg holes. There's two pegs. Pretty simple. I like how nicely that goes on there. Can't remember. Oh, yes, there are extending antenna because it's been a while since I've messed with these. Peg the blaster onto the side of the backpack. I will admit getting the blaster in his hand is way easier than the Bandai SH Figure Arts version. For the Super Battle Droid, Nothing but this rough and tumble personality. Size-wise, C-3PO stands at about six and three sixteenths, while the Super Battle Droid stands at a healthy six and three eighths inches tall. Just for giggles, since I still had them laying here, here is the first Star Wars Black Series Geonosis Battle Droid, and then again, the C-3PO that came in the Amazon 2 pack with Chewbacca. Here's the Black Series Clone Wars Anakin and Obi-Wan Kenobi. This looks great. I think that's pretty much exact scale when it comes to the Super Battle Droid. Or close enough for me. Looks just as good next to the Black Series Series Count Dooku and the Bandai SH Figure Arts Jango fit. I know this Jango is not the greatest figure, but I like it better than the Black Series version. So at the end of the day, the Super Battle Droid is a complete badass. C-3PO is just kind of there. To reiterate, I don't mind having this version of C-3PO on the shelf, but he's going to find a pose. He's going to go in the display. I'm probably not going to touch them for another two, two and a half, three years. The Super Battle Droid though, I'm going to need about four or five or six or seven or eight more of these. I need a few in a row up in the display and then I need a few for fiddle figures, strategically placed on desks or workspaces. Because I ain't going to lie, this review took way longer than usual because I would grab it, I'd put it around, throw it down, there's the pose. Oh my god, how easy is that? It works so well. I could not be happier with this, especially after the disappointment of other recent Star Wars Black Series droids. You put them up, they fall down. You try to stand them, they don't want to stand. To the point where they're just laying on the ground in front of the display. And that's no place for a Star Wars Black Series droid. So what I'm saying is, oh Hasbro, you've redeemed yourself. Now, I will say, C-3PO, again, just there. But the difficulties with that is no different than the difficulties that they've had the whole time with battle droids. The SH Figure Arts is a little better, but at the same time, it's essentially very thin plastic. It's a robotic skeleton just trying to pose around. And I guess you could say the same thing about the Super Battle Droid, but it has some chunk to it, some heft. Still thin in places, but engineered very nicely. And then the paint apps, just, it's a good looking, good feeling figure. I've had a lot of good toys in the past few months, but man, this one really hit me here. 
Right in the feels. Yeah, bring on the single packs. I need more. More of this. <laughs>